Here are some tips for organizing your data related to stock from Yahoo Finance. For this demonstration, I have downloaded the Walt Disney Company stock data and the Honda Motor Company stock data. You will want to also include at least two other companies in your analysis. So let's take a look at getting this into R and operating on the data set. I'm going to call my general portfolio data set stock. And I'm first just going to load directly into it the Disney data set. So let's take a look at that. You see all of that information from the CSV file as downloaded directly from Yahoo Finance. I want to compute the daily change for the Disney stock. I can do so by a simple operation. Notice how this is named a new column name onto the stock data, calling upon column names that already exist in the data. Running that, you'll see that column that was created, and it was from the close and open prices. Now we don't need all of this information, since moving forward, we're only interested in using the date as a merging column and holding on to our daily change information for analysis. To do that, we can call upon the stock data and tell it that we want to reassign just the first and eighth columns, the eighth being the daily change that we just created to the stock data. So running that, you see how that works. We have kept those two variables that we want moving forward. And now we want to incorporate the Honda Motor Company daily change. So you'll operate on the Honda CSV file in a similar way, creating the daily change and keeping those columns that you'd like. There you see that with the corresponding date and Honda's daily change. And finally, we would want to merge information from those two data sets. We're operating now with the Honda data set and the stocks data set. And they both have similar information in the date column. So to merge these two data sets, we can call upon merge data frame, tell that we want to merge the stocks and Honda data, and that we want to do so by the date column. Also including the all equal true command will ensure that all of the data from both data sets is retained. Let's run that, see the result. You can see stocks we're still using as our overall data set. It had Disney stocks daily change in it already. We have appended or merged in the Honda Motor Company daily change. So you can continue this process building up your portfolio of four stocks. Now, you might be wondering, well, why is that all equal true command important? The Honda Motor Company data had one more piece of information. Had we not included that, then the merge process would have eliminated that row. And so we would have slightly less information about Honda Motor Company. Maybe it wasn't terribly important, but if you'd like to retain all of the information that you have, that's a useful option to include that command all equal true.